We can now become an uncontrollable wheelbarrow. What's going on everybody? DJ Graham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I have 10 mods for you for all platforms. We've got 6 new and 3 updates and for PC and Mac only we have 1 new. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the five round bells trailer. The bell trailer is designed to transport round bells. You can load five of them. And says the advantage of this trailer is to picks up the bells directly from the ground. This saves time and it would take to load them. Well, I would use an auto loader, but let's check this out anyway. So where are you going to find this? Of course, this is going to be found in bailing technology and it's going to be found near the very end. There is no customization and I have so Many mods, I'm not even going to go through it. It's in there, no customization. Don't even need to worry about it. Price is going to be $9,000 if you guys are curious about that. And you're probably looking at this going, TJ, how in the world do you load this? Let me show you. So let's say you just got done doing some round bells and you are ready to pick them up. Well, what you're going to do is you are going to just unfold it like you would unfold any other trailer. We also have a full control of the arm in the back that's going to come in handy here in just a minute so this is going to be off to the side now and all i'm going to do is just drop it down this is not going to drag the ground so do keep that in mind as well i'm just going to come through and pick the bells up one by one now you may get to a point where something happens that you don't want it to happen but for the most part it's not too bad. Nothing's going all crazy like. Now, when I was loading these earlier, I noticed that there was a little bit. And there's the crazy I was talking about. If you are not straight on, it will do this and you will have to back up and do it all again. Fortunately, I'm just going to move it and do that. Now, like I said earlier, I saw we had a little bit extra room and I wanted to see, could we pick up a sixth? And naturally it would do that. Of course it would. <laughs> Go figure. Boop and boop. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got an Xbox controller, so I'm going to go right bumper and down on the right stick. That's going to we'll fasten all of them. And we're going to fold and lift. Now, it's time to see if this is going to go crazy. So it looks like six bells, in fact, will work in here. That is really, really cool. Now, when it's time to unload... All I'm going to do is I'm going to press left bumper. I'm going to pull back on the right stick. We're going to drop them and bring it down. And then I'm simply just going to pull forward just like that. Now, of course, it'll do round bells. Will it do square bells? Ah, I got it to happen. So I was trying to get these out and I ended up getting one stuck in there. No matter what I do, no matter how many buttons I grab or try to pull, I can't get it out. I can't get the bail out. So keep in mind, this may happen to you. And it's not fun. Let's see if I can even get it out of there. Um, I just want the bail. So I had to literally pick the bail up and get it out of there. Again, keep it in mind, that could happen. Now, we do have some square bells set up just for fun. I know this is for round bells. I know this is idiotic. I want to do it. <laughs> So we're going to see. Um, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Not even close. What if they were up on their side? I wonder. I mean, not that they would ever be up on their side, especially after coming out of a baler, unless you're going as fast as I am. But just curious. Let's set it up for success right here. There's one. Here's two. And here's a third, just in case for whatever reason we can get that far. Let's bring the back down. There's that. There's one bell. Let's see if we can get this lined up just perfectly. There's two. And a partial third. Now what happens when we raise? Not a darn thing, but what happens if we grab a hold? We can actually lift up the square bells. Again, this is stupid and probably would never happen. But will it work? Absolutely. 
Next up, we have an uncontrollable wheelbarrow. So this is a wheelbarrow for small tasks, capacity 120 liters, price 50 bucks. Category is going to be in vehicles and in miscellaneous. Speed is 18 kilometers per hour, about 11 or 12 miles per hour. Let's check it out. Well, we're going into vehicles. We're going into miscellaneous. And sure enough, there it is, a wheelbarrow. Okay, main color. Well, I want a green one, so let's go with green. And it's a vehicle. What? Yup, it's got 10 horsepower as well. I'm going to turn on the help window. You can see enter vehicle. All right, let's enter the vehicle. This thing, please start the engine. So we've got to start the engine. If I go forward, this thing is great. But as soon as I turn, you can see how this is not good. Um, this is uncontrollable. This is silly. And I'm not doing much out of the ordinary. And now we're on the ground. I've got to hold, I got to hold F9. Vehicle's already on the ground. No, it ain't. There we go. Um, this is not good. I got to be completely honest with you. It works like a tipper would. You go under something, you fill it up, and then you can unload just like that. This, this needs to be fixed. Yeah. This is bad. Something that's not a bad mod. This is the Toys Far Series 9. You guys have been looking for this for a long time, and it is finally here. Let's check it out. Where are you going to find this? For? Where are you going to find this? This is right in front of us right now. I just want to take a second to look at this and see how beautiful this is. The detail under the hood. Look at that. Look at that. No picture processing. Nothing like that. No video color corrections. This just is what it is, and it looks amazing. Look, you can even see the sun through the through, through the engine itself. How cool is that? All right, let's check it out. We're going to find this is going to be found in large tractors, and it is going to be beside the Deuce Bull that we've got. And there it is right here, Series 9. Let's click on it check it out. Rim color, we got a couple different options. We have the in-game gray. Please add that as a color. And also as the black. I like the black, so we're going to go with the black. Engine setups here, we have the 9290 TTV. That's going to give you 295 horsepower. We have the 9310, which is going to give you 312 horsepower. We have the 9340, which is going to give you 336 horsepower. And then we have the 9340 TTV Warrior. This is going to give you, of course, 900, or 300, 900, goodness, 336 horsepower. Then we have the 9340, which is going to give you 396, and then back to standard again. So if you want that big engine in there, you're going to have to go with the Warrior setup right here. Again, 396 horsepower, max horsepower on this tractor right here. Wheel Brands, we have Trellborg, we have Michelin, and we have Midas. In Trellborg, we have standard wheel weights, wide tires, wides with weights, twin wheels, rear twins, and back to standard again. In Michelin, we have standard wheel weights, wide tires, wides with weights, twin wheels, rear twins, and back to standard. And in Midas, we have standard wheel weights, wides, wides with weights, twins, rear twins, and back to standard, of course. So this is an amazing tractor. The detail is absolutely incredible on this. One of the best one of the best. And that brings us to this guy, the Tass Lizard. This is a front cultivator used to cultivate. Yep, price 4,600 bucks, max working speed 15 kilometers per hour, required power 90 horsepower. And I bet you can't, <laughs> bet you can't get how wide it is. Eh? It's not three meters, it's one meter. Yeah, perfectly one meter. Uh, mainly used as a weight. It does have some weights on the front. Those are un... can't change them at all. Of course, where are you going to find this? This is going to be found in cultivators, not in weights. I was looking in weights for forever. We pass it. Yep, so small we did pass it. Here it is, main color. You could change that. We have the original color. We have a yellow color. And then, of course, we've got any of the other colors as well. Let's change it to pink, because why not? Uh, colors are going to be 150 bucks. Main price, $47.50 after changing the color. It is a one meter cultivator for the front of your tractor. Yep. Next up, we've got Farmhouse. This is a really, really good looking farmhouse. We're going to just take a trip around the outside. So nothing really on the backside. So you can put this up against fences, 
up against a, um, a wall, whatever you want there. Let's go in and have a look. Of course, we can open up. I want to give this guy credit because this is one of the first houses that I've been through that I actively didn't get stuck the first time coming through. I just want to say that it's wide, it's open. I can get through the doors, no issues whatsoever. So we've got a nice little area right here. Of course, you could sleep in the entire, I believe you could sleep in the entire house. Let's see, let's go back out. Reset our sleeper. And actually, no. So can't sleep through there. Once you get into the living room. Okay, so once you get into here, you can get to sleep. Got a nice little living room though. Nice little setup right here. Sweet little stereo. PlayStation 4 Pro, I think. Maybe. Well, we'll see. And then, of course, a nice TV. Some little areas around here. Um, I haven't been able to pick anything up. Let's see here. Bring that around. Yeah, I don't think any of these objects can be picked up. Uh, one thing I noticed, and of course, it's no surprise, this is one of the modders for Alsace Agri Farm, but this right here is Alsace Agri Farm. That's a new addition. Ooh, we're in the ground. Boop. So, very cool. Very awesome. Of course, this is going to be found in placeables, and it's going to be found in houses. And your last new mod for all platforms today, this is Brick House. Dun, 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 house. Yeah, but that was cringy. This right here cannot be entered in any way, shape, or form. All you got to do is go up the stairs, go to the front door, and you are not tired. And that is it. It has a great looking mod right here. Small, placeable, Polish brick house. Price 120000 Again, really, really nice. I wish we could go in, but nonetheless, the outside is very good looking. Moving into updates for all platforms, we have the placeable straw barn change log 2. Updated to support the Seasons mod and new names for all buildings. So, if you guys are using this, make sure that you update. There's three different versions. You've got a black one, a red one, and a white one. Oh, yeah. Also, these are here by Edge. Yo, huge shout out to Edge Gaming real quick. Everything that they do is a really good mod. This is a great looking mod. I know this is kind of a design building from 17, but it's so nostalgic and I love it. They're also the modders of a mod that we're getting ready to review over there. Plus, the multi-filling station, my favorite mod in the entire game, Farming Simulator 19. I might be a little bit biased, but nonetheless, if you don't use their mods, you need to go check them out because you are missing out. Speaking of Edge Gaming, we have the Edge Grain Silos, who created the Seasons Mask support and updated to support custom fruit types and maps which is great news. That is changelog too. So it's a very similar changelog to our straw barn over there. There are quite a few different models in this. I believe there are was it, six, eight models total, which is really cool. Tell you what, I was a big fan of these when they came out. They're not multi-fruit, so do keep that in mind. You can add a multi-fruit silo to them, or an extension rather, and then it will work as a multi-fruit. It's just not multi-fruit from base. Regardless, Awesome mod, great update. And your last update today, we've got an update to the IT Runner for Silos by DD Mod Passion Changelog 1.2, loading and unloading improvements. So there you go, we've got an update to this. Yes, I know these are found in augers, and of course the trailer is found in trailers. Exactly where you think it's gonna be found. There you go, update to the IT Runners for Silos. And lastly today, for PC and Mac players only, we've got a new season's geo for you. This is Minnesota, USA. Do you want to experience farming in the conditions of Minnesota, USA? Welcome to the northern Great Plains of the United States. Here you can experience all four seasons from the cold of winter to the heat and humidity of summer. Snow is possible here from October all the way up to May, though it would likely fall mostly during November through March. The growing seasons here are shorter, so you will need to plan carefully to get all your work done. This mod allows for growing most of the Farming Simulator 19 crops. Canola, poplar, sugarcane, and cotton are not grown here, and so they are not supported on this season's geo. Although the most common crops here are corn and soybeans, and uh, sugar beets from what I understand as well. Winter crops are here only, uh, their winter crops are only wheat, so you can keep that in mind as well. Uh, due to the nature of the weather here, the modder does not recommend using anything less than nine day seasons as you may not get the full experience. The weather for this mod was generated from the city of Rochester, Minnesota. The latest version of Seasons mod 
is required. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn the notification bells on so that you never miss a new mod video here on the channel. That being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!